Minecrafters out there, my name is Fape, and we are back in life in the woods, guys. <laughs> as beautiful as ever. Um, yeah, we had our unfortunate death at the end of last episode, and it was not the end of the story. Eh? As you may remember, I ended the episode during night time, and I tried to run back and find my bed to sleep the night away. And uh, after a while, I found my bed. I slept in it, and while I was lying in bed, I saw a creeper coming towards me, and I was just praying that I made it through the night before the creeper came close, and uh, it was so scary and was um, so, so freaking close. Um, I woke up, I r ran maybe two blocks, and the creeper exploded and destroyed my bed, so I was completely without resources, only half my health, and not even a spawn point set. Uh, but yeah, I managed to, to, call, c to catch myself. I started all over again, had some food problems at the beginning, just lived from the fruits from the trees here. This hovering tree is my, uh, just my marker, so I know from everywhere where I am where my base is right now. And uh, I got set up a little bit, uh, I already got some stuff, I got even two diamonds already again, so... I'm not doing too bad, look at this, this is the rotten flesh I got, I'm gonna show you in a second where I got it, but first... Let's see... How much Petrock flesh we can get out of, the, out of that. And you can see I also have a whole bunch of coal. 20. 20 isn't too bad. Still have some some iron smelting up. I got full iron armor now. So this is definitely very helpful in this kind of world. But let's um, cook it, this, uh, this Petrock flesh to leather. So we can get our stuff back together. I didn't craft a lot of the stuff we had last episode. Oh yeah, yeah last time. Um, but I prepared a lot of the resources I need, and uh, I found this ravine here, and I started uh, exploring it a bit. I should have a way down here somewhere. Let's check it. I found something really interesting that I that I used. Yeah, let's go down here. It should work. It seems so dark, but it's daytime already. Oh, I think I know why. I played for a while um, without shaders because I had other stuff running and I didn't want to have the, the frame drops. But here, this is this stuff is called. Uh, do I have some on me? No. This is called lignite. Lignite, yeah. And nine of the lignite, if you craft it together, give you one coal. That's where I got a lot of my coal. I mined this all out here, and I found this mine shaft in the process, where I found my diamonds in this little minecart here. Uh, I also found a saddle, so we might be finally be able to get a horse too. Um, yeah, so all in all, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I got rid. Oh, let's take this with us. I got rid of um, most. I think all the iron that was in the ravine, and I got uh, the coal too. And uh, the most important thing that I found in here is this little guy, a zombie spawner. Really, really awesome, I just stood here and killed off zombies just like that the whole time. That's how I got all this rotten flesh for the patchwork flesh. Um, but now let's quickly light it up a little bit and take a look inside. Uh, because I don't think I looted these chests yet. Um, name tags? Nice. Buckets? Not sure why I would need that much buckets, but that many buckets. Uh, a second saddle? I don't need a second saddle, I don't think. Protector protection 4 is not really what I need. I have almost 30 levels too from with the grinding. Ah, uh, nah, I don't need this, 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 uh, this music disc. I think that's all I need. I don't want to clog up my inventory too much. That's also, um, is that a, no, it's just a one block missing. Um, yeah, I'll leave most of us still behind because I don't have a backpack yet, but we should have a backpack fairly soon. Once I got the leather cooked up. Oh yeah, and these cherries. Nom nom nom. Yeah, you guys told me how to handle these, um, these crops on the trees, and I learned it. Don't worry. I can harvest them now without having to to break them. But it's kind of annoying that you have to right-click them because oh, that worked. Um, because you place stuff that you have in your hand while right-clicking, if it's placeable. So usually I try to have food or something on me that I can't place anywhere. What is this? I haven't harvested this guy yet. Hello there. What are you? Olives! I hate olives. <laughs> In real life, I really, really hate olives. I don't know how people can eat them. They they taste disgusting. But uh, I'll take them. 
I'll take any kind of food here in this world. I'll I would eat anything if I would have to live. Oh, is this rutabaga? Rutabaga. I hope I pronounced that right. I have no idea if I do. Oh, grapes. Yeah, there is still a lot of different stuff. What is this? Is this strawberries? Strawberries. There are so many different kind of fruits, but they all just give you. Oh no! Oh, these. Dang, uh, what prick, prickling lettuce or something? So annoying. Okay, 20 leather. Um, let's see what I can make with this. I also started a um, sugarcane farm down there where I got already a bunch of sugarcane. So we should be able to craft ourselves some paper. Okay, ow! And also, um, I crafted a crafting guide last time, but you guys also said in the comments, and I finally checked it out. You don't need one, you just press G. And you are in the in the in the crafting menu. You don't have to craft the crafting guide. I don't know why that is, whether it's possible. It shouldn't be possible in my opinion. You should have to craft one before just using it. But yeah, I don't think I'll have to craft another one. Um and yeah, I was looking up the fossils because I found these little guys. Bone fossils, shell fossil, bone chart fossil. And I have not the slightest clue what their use is. So if you guys have any information on these little fossils, let me know. It kind of looks like chicken fossils or something. I have no idea what what they are for. Um, I also got a carrot and a potato from, from the zombie, so this is nice. Okay, let's use the... Oh, 10 more leather. Oh yeah, I killed some cows, I remember. Let's craft some... Let's color code our backpacks. What do we have? We have... Can I craft you? You are poisonous. Can I craft you into... No. No way to craft you into... Um, into dye. But orange, I'm sure I'll be able to get some color out of you. And maybe purple. Then we have three. Um, yeah, orange dye. And purple dye. Perfect. So let's craft maybe three backpacks. That should provide us with some space. So let's take blue, orange, and let's already prepare the third one, orange and purple. Three backpacks. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and then we are gonna head out. I'm ready again. What else did we get last time? Oh, you know what? Oh, I have a bow already. Ah, okay, I don't need to craft one because the skeleton dropped one apparently. Um, let's put all our food in orange, I would say. Rotten flesh, cherries, grapes, strawberries, rutabaga, olives, oranges. And I think I got some more in here too. Yeah, let's take all that stuff. And put it in our... Oh, there was some more rutabaga. Um, yeah, let's put it all in there. Carrots. So this is our food chest. Whenever we need some, we can just go there to grab it. Uh, let's to put that in there too. That should work, right? Yeah, okay. Then we are gonna have our uh, ore and valuables chest. I guess it's gonna be... Uh, let's do purple. Diamonds and I think I should have some iron that's go that goes in there. Oh, I need an iron pick too. Oh yeah, we, we crafted the um, the atlas. The antique atlas last time. And uh, I'm going to do this again. I have enough iron. I should have enough paper for... Um, what was it again? It was a compass and a book, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have a tunnel somewhere down here where I dug down. I didn't find much, um, but I found some redstone down there. So let me quickly grab that. And then we can craft a new atlas and we can mark this spot here as our respawn base for a while. Um, it's going to be good so I know where the zombie spawner is. Just in case I, I want to come back. I'm not sure if I will, but better better save it up or better save the point where I was than uh, not finding it again and just starving to death in nature again. I think towards this direction. I ducked towards lava here. Yeah, here's the lava and there's the redstone. So let's grab that. Is that all? Yeah, there wasn't much down here, sadly. Oh, there was more for uh, of this uh, other stuff that I found last episode somewhere this stuff here which we didn't know what really was i don't think any oh there's more coal peridot yeah that's what it was called um was there more somewhere yeah, there was a little bit more um still not sure what the use for that is but i'm gonna keep it 
just because I have to use an iron pickaxe to mine it. And that, that can only mean that it's uh, valuable, right? <laughs> Let's leave this lignite behind. Behind, One of them can't help me anyways. Maybe you grab a few of these torches. Can never have enough torches. And then we shall maybe sleep one more time in our bed if the night time is coming. And then we will... Is it night time? It is night time. Almost. Okay, let's head up on top of our hill. Um, sleep real quick. Before any mobs are spawning. <laughs> yeah, I tried to sleep quite a bit. Uh, to get the night away. But yeah, here we go. Alright, here we go. Let's grab four iron. One, two, three, four. Then let's craft... I think... Nope. I think I need just one. Bam, bam, bam. But come on. Bam, compass. And I need a book. So let's craft a book. There's the book. And book and compass gives us an empty antique atlas. And we can open it now. Number one. Okay, add marker. Right here. And uh, we're gonna call it... Zombie spawner base. So whenever we are walking around now, we can we can see where the, where this was and we can find it again. Uh, so that is nice. We got an atlas again. Very very helpful. Uh, let me get the bow. I don't have any arrows, do I? Do I have flint? I have some flint and I have some feathers, so I might as well craft some arrows. Um, just to be safe, I think that should be enough. I don't have more flint anyways. Sixteen. It's a start. It's a start. Okay, uh, what else do I need? I think I'm gonna leave that stuff behind. I'm gonna leave these bones behind, these pile of ashes. I don't know if they are any any useful. Hmm. Let's take as much stone as we can. Let's take the wool to craft beds. Okay, let's leave the gunpowder behind maybe. And yeah, I think that's all I need. Do I have the crafting table? I have one crafting table only so I can leave that one behind. And uh, let's put some of the cobblestone in there. I don't need it all in my main inventory. Yeah, I got a little bit of wood. Can uh, chop some more wood down wherever I need it. We're gonna take one of the furnaces with us. And otherwise, I think we are good to go. You know what? Let's see if I can find a horse somewhere around. I know I saw some horses, but yeah, I killed one. You all saw that to get some leather. And I killed a few more, actually, to get a little bit more leather. But maybe I missed one. Sadly, I found the, the saddle only. Oh, there's a horse. Look at this. We are lucky, guys. Awesome. Let's get that guy. Uh, let's get our saddle ready. Hello, little white horse. Next to the ice plains that look kind of awesome. Um, okay, it needs an empty hand, I'm pretty sure. Come on, you like me. I know, don't jump, don't jump. It's not worth it. No. You, do you like me? He likes me, all right. Oh, what? Can I, where's the saddle? There's the saddle. Here we go. Riding a horse, awesome. This will definitely make the traveling so much easier. Um, it will make it harder to pick stuff up, up, but the traveling itself will be easier. Okay, let's see. That's north, that's east, that's the west direction. That's where we're gonna go. I think the ravine is here somewhere. It's not the fastest horse, but um, we don't need a super fast horse. We want to appreciate the landscape after all, at least a little bit. But yeah, that's awesome. It's a lot faster to travel by horse now. Let us get the atlas on the bar, though. Can we check it? Where are we? Oh, okay, yeah, this is west, obviously. Um, okay, let's move on. Just don't take any damage, little horse. I heard a zombie. Is that a ravine here? Oh, what is, what is this? Come to daddy. Plums! I love them. I love plums. Oh, nice. The, the leaves don't suffocate me in 1.6. I totally forgot about that. I was scared there for a second. Come on, you're, you're delicious little guys. I might uh, have to bake a plum cake or something. I love them. 
My grandma used to make them all the time. Well, she, I don't know, she still does. I, I'm not around um, that often anymore. Because uh, since I moved out. But uh, sometimes when I come, she still has some, some nice plum cake or pie. I have no idea what the real difference is. But uh, it tastes awesome. Hey pigs, I don't really need your food right now. You know what I'm scared of now? Exactly. Of these these holes and ravines in the ground. It's so much more dangerous when you travel that fast with a horse. So we saw it last time and it's really, really easy to get to get uh, to die in one of those. And with a horse it's even easier. So I gotta really... I gotta be extremely careful with it. Hmm... Yeah, some of you guys were asking uh, when I'm gonna build uh, a real base and some houses. And uh, some I, I answered some of you guys, um, but I wanted to do it in a video so every one of you knows what they can expect from me here. Basically, um, this is my third main Minecraft series here. And I, I built a lot in Minecraft. I built a lot on my Time Shot series and I built a lot on my in my dinosaur mine. Is it an ocean? Can we find some whales? Well, that's not an ocean, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm building a lot on Time Shot. I'm building a lot in the dinosaur mine. So I don't really want uh, to have a third series uh, dedicated to building. Because the building part takes a long time. A lot of planning is involved. A lot of thinking about stuff. And uh, I enjoy this series just because I can, I can run around and discover amazing stuff. Uh, try out some new crafting recipes, some new items that, that are in the... In this, in this mod pack and that's why I enjoy this mod for the adventurous part and I'm not sure when I will settle down. I might settle down eventually uh, when I got some nice ideas and I really feel like settling down maybe in a really really super nice area that I really love. Are we still going west? No south, this is west. Um, I might settle down eventually but not for a while so just so you know what to expect. This is new. Is that deep? Uh, it looks too deep for a horse. That's the disadvantage by uh, yeah when you are on your way with a horse. It's very really, really, very hard to to cross oceans. No, horsey, swim up. You can do it. Uh, are you lost already? Oh man, we might have to leave you behind. I don't think I can save you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Just glad I didn't name you yet. Oh man. Yeah, once this is, horses die so fast when it comes to water currents. <laughs> oh, I lost quite a bit of hunger while riding the horse. I didn't expect that. I thought it didn't take that much hunger just the riding. Okay, let's climb this mount. Oh, are these fishies? Are you fishies? Oh, oh just got to go. Look how cute they are. I don't want to leave you alone. Come on, come with me. Man, I want fish in Minecraft. So badly, look at these fishies. What is this? Is this just cobblestone rock? Or just cobblestone, I should, or stone? No, it's not, I don't think. Ash stone, is it a volcano? Is that thing a volcano? Let's, oh yeah, I hear lava. I hear it. Oh, is this... What is the... Oh, is this ash? Yeah, piles of ash. Okay, um, pretty sure we are on a volcano right now. The question is... Is there a crater? Or is it just a... Wow. Woo! Oh man, it looks really awesome though. These lava, like... Almost like a real inactive volcano with a few little ponds of lava. And some, some ash smoking around. But no real crater anymore. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's eat some of our steak. I think we have to at this point. And yeah, let's check the atlas. Still going west. And west, there's our spot. So we got quite a bit of distance already. And you don't have to have the atlas open all the time for it to update in the map, which is nice. I think, uh, yeah, the, the common Minecraft maps you have to open all the time if you really want to load all the stuff in. Man, this terrain looks amazing. I, I really like it. It's so plain, I know, but just the feeling you get, it's really, 
It feels really like a volcanic biome. How is it called? Volcano. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I like that biome. Not to live in here, but to walk through it and maybe to see it from a distance. I think it's a really nice addition. Could be a little bit smaller, maybe. It's quite, quite uh, vast. What is this? Is it sand? Hardened sand. Ooh. Outback. Aha! We just reached Australia, guys. Be careful. <laughs> oh, there might be a lot of snakes and spiders around. I hate spiders. We are in the outback. And it's getting nighttime, so we might have to put a camp up here in the outback and sleep real quick. All right, get a crafting table ready. And... Um, <laughs> craft a bed. I sh yeah, I brought all the wool. We might have to get some more... Some more wood at one point or another. But let's sleep for now. I can only sleep at night. It is night time. What are you talking about? It, is that not night time? That's night time. All right. I got it. The shade is a little bit confusing, I think. Ah, and once again, beautiful sunset. All right. Let's mark the spot. Um, let's call it... Um, <laughs> camp... Day number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. So we are gonna travel and we're gonna set down these markers whenever we spawn. And then we can maybe backtrack at one point or another. And then we can just look at it and then camp day number one. And we got just gonna... Just gonna give him all the number. I think that's gonna be cool. And maybe we'll find another horse at one point or another. Oh, <laughs> you know what would be cool? We could write something like a diary. I think that would be an awesome idea of the adventures we we um, we survive every day and then leave it behind at the different camps maybe. Write a book every day. It would need a lot of feathers and ink sacks, but I th oh, am I still traveling? Oh, I'm traveling east. I'm traveling back. That's not what I want to do. I think it would be kind of an awesome idea. Let me know what you think about it. Having a diary entry every time. <laughs> I think they would be cool, but uh, oh, actually, I think uh, we are already twenty. Where was my camp again? I already lost it. Oh, there, it should be over there. Um, it's been about twenty minutes, so I think that's the end of the episode. Let me know what you think about these ideas, and yeah, what we, what you want to see of me doing uh, in here. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I'm so happy I'm set up again. In a better shape even than I was before. And yeah, I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.